left right on the ground with your rudder remember that okay you want know, to keep the nose down right you want to let the nose come level yeah as you start to accelerate you can go forward with the stick a little the uh, Cessna downwind at uh, Saratoga, this is the pawning on 3-2. Do I have time to get off at 3-2 before you uh, land on 2-3? Yeah, you do. He's on downwind. Let's go. I don't know how it looks like you have time. Okay, give him the rudders. There you go. Wiggle those rudders. Right rudder. Rudder. Good. That's the way. Put him on the horizon. Keep him there. Look past the tow plane to the horizon and make your adjustments. That's it. Keep the 
turn going. Keep the turn going. You're looking good. Airspeed looks good. Keep that turn going. And let's come back to the left. Left stick, left rudder. Keep your nose down for proper airspeed. That's the way. Left foot. Need more left rudder. There you go. Five knots slow. Five knots slow. There you go. Back to the right. Right turn. Right foot. Right stick. Nice. That's the way. Airspeed looks good. Keep the turn going. How's it feeling? Pretty good. Yep. And back to the left. Yeah, that's it. Keep that foot in. Keep that, don't take that foot out. Nice. Five knots slow. Four knots, there you go. Back to the right, right turn. That's looking real good. Three knots slow. Just a little in that turn. Keep the turn going, keep it going, keep it going. And the southern end of Saratoga Lake, keep turning. We're going to turn back and use that as our reference now. Right turn. Attaway. Keep it going, keep it going. That turn initiation felt real good. To the left again. Yeah, that's good. Real good. See how that felt? Yeah. Back to the right again. For some reason, you stop that turn. I don't know why. When we go left to right, you want to stop it. Go back to the left. Right to left, you keep things going nice and smoothly. That's the way. That's the way. Okay, point this right at Saratoga, straight ahead, straight and level. We'll make a 360. Which direction would you like to turn? Uh, left. 360 to the left, right now. Keep us coordinated the whole way around. And when we roll out, we're going to do crosswind for 1-4. Okay. Keep the turn going. We're looking good. And when we come out, trim us for 50 knots. And we'll go through our landing checklist. Trim 50. Straight and level. Nose down, pitch down for 50, and then trim so you don't have any force on your hand. Okay, looking good, and the undercarriage is down and locked. Spoilers are checked, check your spoilers. You can close them, spoilers work. Trim is set, 50, altitude is correct. We are looking out for other traffic, and Saratoga Glider, Glider 1 for Bravo Crosswind, 1 for Saratoga. Hold 50, we're looking good here. You can go half spoilers. And hold the 50 knots, we look great. And we'll left turn onto our base leg. Nice turn, how's this feeling? Level parallel to the runway. Look at the runway, make sure we're parallel. Hold 50 knots, 5 knots fast. Good, nice correction. Don't turn 
into the runway, hold a point on the horizon and fly to it. Altitude is good. Five knots slow. Hit 50. How do we look for the runway? When should we turn? 45 degrees. Okay, go for it. Nice turn onto the base leg. See how nice and coordinated you are here? This is great. 50 knots, you're looking good. Roll out, pick a spot on the horizon, fly towards it. Looking good here. And you can come off the spoilers just a little. A little less spoilers. Good, right there. Airspeed is great. And Saratoga Glider 914 Bravo, base and final 14 Saratoga. We're just a little high, a little bit more spoilers, good. Hold 50, and when you're ready, nice turn on to final. Nice and coordinated, beautiful. Take a little bank out, or a little bit, take some bank out, and we need full boards, full spoilers. Hold 50, do not go any faster, just hold 50. Hold 50, on the center line, you're looking good here. Roll out, roll on to the extended center line, nicely done. Okay, we could go half spoilers now. Let's keep flying. Put the airplane on the center line. On the center line. On the center line. Right rudder. Don't, don't pull it up. Level. A little left rudder. That was a little too much. Are you using your whole leg? Just use your ankle. Let it roll. You have it. Right rudder. Left rudder right now. Gotta anticipate it. It's alright. We're doing good. Come over the spoilers. That's it. Make your corrections. That's the way. Right rudder. Right rudder. Left rudder now. See how you have to anticipate it as we slow down? Right rudder. Good. Left rudder again. Yeah. I think you got a little crosswind here. You're doing good. You're doing good. Doing good. Making that correction and bringing it back to the center line. All right, nicely done. Can it be open? Yeah, I think uh, you were using your leg too much. Okay. Remember, you want to keep your heels on the floor. Just use your ankles. Okay. So that the balls of your feet are on the rudder pedals and the balls of your feet can feel everything. All right. That way you don't wind up doing this. Okay. Turns were good, what do you think? Except for the landing and like the beginning of like take off, I think it was Right, the beginning of well you haven't flown in a while, so where was your right forearm? I want your arm on your leg. On your leg? So you're flying with your wrist. Because if you get your shoulder into it and you start moving your arm this way, you don't have real fine motor control. Right. It's lifting weights. And what we want to do is to be able to just, you know, fine motor. Yeah, he told me that. Keep my shoulder on. 